Stanford, Colorado, and Oregon have split every women's Pac-12 cross-country title since 2014, and the usual suspects showed up at UC Riverside on a sunny day in Southern California. For the Buffaloes, coming in ranked the number 11 team in the country. Emily Covert was second at last year's race in Salt Lake City. She went out fast and tried to win this race before anybody noticed. Yes, she was the top returner from last year. She had plenty of company in terms of great runners, but she took off and hid from the pack. Now, there was a big story going on, Jim, in the team positioning because Colorado and Utah were neck and neck all day long. And this is Emily Venters of Utah and actually Bailey Hertenstein coming up on Venters. And it was this battle that decided the team title. So we had three leaders over the last 3K and Bailey Hertenstein runs away. The transfer from Indiana goes from Bloomington, Bloomington to Boulder to the Pac-12 championship in Riverside. And she does it in a course record 19-11. What a performance it was. She even told us afterwards, I was tired. I thought Emily Cover was gonna win it, but she started coming back and I started feeling better. Hurdenstein, 1911. Venters, 1916. Covert holds on for third. So second straight podium finish for Emily Covert. The team title goes to Colorado, even though Utah and Colorado tie 66 apiece. You go head to head, you're one versus their one, you're two versus their two and Colorado's first three were better than Utah's first three. They win three out of five points. Colorado wins their sixth women's championship in the Pac-12. Utah, their best finish ever. They technically tied for the title. They were second last year, and Oregon finishes third. For these runners and teams, now it's on to the regionals. For Tom Fear, I'm Jim Watson. So long from UC Riverside and the 2022 Pac-12 Women's Cross Country Championship where Bailey Hurdenstein makes history in her first Pac-12 title race.